Hey guys, so I did do a shop my stash video um, last month. I I didn't get to edit and upload it, so I thought I would do a new one for April. I'm gonna go through this and see and talk a little bit about the different products and um, pick out some new ones. I think I included that. Uh, the pan that palette challenge thing um, for in the in the video that I didn't upload I can't remember but this is the palette that I chose and this is one of those 88 palettes and basically I've tried to have some have some fun I've had this um, I put numbers and letters along the sides here to have those um, that kind of um, Mm, eyeshadow bingo thing that I've seen Emily Noel do and I think that was kind of fun to do and I want to do some more of those. I'm a little bit on the fence about this palette. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing that uh, Pan That Palette challenge with this palette. I think after using it a little bit more I feel like maybe this is already um, expired. It has really lost its pigmentation. I think I'm going to give it another month and if I still feel the same way when April is over I'm going to get rid of this and start on another palette. Continuing on with this next palette that I have in my 10 pan project I have gotten a long way. I never got around to do an update on that palette on that project but this is how far I've come. So I'm gonna keep this for a little longer. Keep, keeping my setting spray, which is in a Mary Kay bottle, but it is uh, the one from Inklot. Here's a powder. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna switch it out with something else and try, just try something else. I think I'm gonna switch out the highlighter. This is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter. I got to use the Isadora lipstick in Tropical Pink. I used it once. Like, this is not a very wearable color. Taking that back. The foundation that I've been trying to just, I've been trying to make it work, but it doesn't. I, it does not work for me. I, it's the Pacifica Dreamy Cover Bare Face Serum Foundation. It has everything good about it, like SPF, silicone free, it has, it's cruelty free, 100% um, vegan lots of good things but I can't seem to make it work. I've even tried to combine it with the Bare Minerals Serum foundation but it still doesn't work so I'm gonna give these to a rest. I'm also gonna switch out the primer because I really want to try out the new primer that I have. So this was the Bare Minerals Prime Time and I really like this primer. It's very similar to the Smashbox one, the clear one. This is not even in my tampan project, but I mean, look at this. I started using this um, blush in in December, and we're now in the beginning beginning of uh, April, and I've I've just fallen in love with this um, blush. I think it's really pretty. Tickled Pink from Elf, and it went pretty fast because I started using it in December and before that I've used it maybe like four or five times and I just didn't love it but it, the secret behind these kinds of blushes is to get underneath that top layer and once you get underneath that layer it becomes a really nice blush so I just want to use up this blush. Um, also with the same packaging the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light um, I mainly just use this uh, powder color and I just hit pan. That's pretty cool, I think. I'm gonna continue to use this a little while longer. I'm giving this a rest. I'm not a big fan of this anymore. I mean, I like the texture and I, I like the product, but I'm not, I don't love the color. This is in Antwerp, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This concealer, huh. I don't know, I'm not sure because the thing is I, I combined this uh, Kix concealer for with the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Concealer and I'm just so over this concealer. It's 
too dark for me. I've been using it as a correcting concealer, but it's really hard to find the, the uh, perfect amount of um, product to use. It tends to just go overboard and I just look all yellow underneath my eyes, which is not a good look. So I think I'm gonna give this a rest as well. This doesn't give that much coverage, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll keep it here for a little while. Let's see. I'm also gonna keep this Essence cover stick just because it's really convenient to have if you get a spot. I've had really good skin for the last few months. This is in matte ivory, but it's a really good concealer. I still have this eyeliner in my 10 pan project, so I just really wanna finish this. I'm keeping that, no, I'm keeping that like so. Um, this is the Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Topaz, and the thing about this one was that I really just wanted to use it up because Stila wasn't cruelty free, but turns out Stila is cruelty free once again. I'm not in a rush to use this up anymore because it's one of my favorite products, and since they are cruelty free now, um, I know I'll, I might just change it out for something else. This is also in my tampon project. There is not much left. It's the eyeliner pencil from e.l.f. in kind of a shimmery taupe color. But I just want to use this up, so I'm going to keep it here. And this is not a product I use. I just use the spoolie for my brows, so I'm keeping that. Yes, I am keeping this one, but I think I'm going to add some more liners because I want to experiment a little bit more with the liners. So I'm keeping this one, the Physicians Formula 1. And then we have these lip liners. Uh, I still haven't gotten around to use this lip liner from Maybelline in Hollywood Red, so I'm going to keep that a little longer. I have used both of these, um, and I can tell that they're <laughs> they're not very wearable colors, but they are really beautiful from NYX in Bloom and Hot Pink. And um, since I've used them, I'm going to put them back in my collection. It's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to keep that one. And then this is the PBJ Smoothie Stick. Um, I did get around to use this one once or twice, and it's really nice, but I'm gonna put it back now since I got to use it. Also, this one I got to use from Kars, the Liquid Lipstick in Raspberry. Really pretty, nice smelling uh, product. So I'm gonna get, put this one back. Um, and then we have the eyeliner from Lolli Lollipops, um, Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Goodbye Moon. So it's just basically a black one. And I think I want to try some of the other eye pen pencils that I have. So I'm going to put this back in the collection. This one I've used a ton actually. And I'm so happy that I have because it's so pretty and I just didn't want it to go bag it bad. It's a cream uh, eyeshadow pencil from Sumita Beauty beautiful taupey color. Um, so I'm going to put this one back, I think, yeah, and see if I can find some other colors. Then we have this drawer left. This is a um, eyeshadow primer that I depotted. I'm going to continue to use that along with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, this is a lip gloss that is from e.l.f., the Plumping Lip Glaze in Fire Coral, and it's really pretty, and I really want to use it up. So it's not in a, in a 10 pan project or anything, but the same with the blush, they're just nearly done. Then we have these last products. This is so convenient when I'm in a rush. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in light, and it's really good as a all-over multi-purpose concealer. So I'm gonna keep that. The Model Launcher Brows Eyebrow Pencil in Taupe. This is just really nice with a spoolie on one end and a retractable eye, uh, eyebrow pencil on the other end. And it's really convenient, it goes really fast to put on your brows, so I'm going to keep that one. And then remaining is my two lash products, the primer that I always talk about. Uh, I'm keeping that one, this is a new one, I used up the other one. And the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black in black, I guess. 
really good mascara actually. I didn't think I would like this, but I do. So I want to keep using this until it goes dry. I've only used it for maybe like three weeks or something. So I, or maybe longer. I want to, I want to finish this one before I go on to um, a new one. And um, yeah, so let's see if I can find some new products to put in my everyday makeup collection. This is a NYX Spring Flower, a beautiful light purpley shimmery color. I want to, I think I want to throw in that one. And this one I want to try, the NYX Roll On Shimmer in pink. And they go really well together as well. Let's see. Oh, and I want to try this um, NYX Jambalaya Pencil in French Fries. I think that's enough for now. Let's see, I want to try a new powder, or another powder. I can't remember what kinds of powder. I have this powder. I think I want to try to use this one. I've been, I have been um, practicing on that baking technique. Um, I'm not a big fan so far, but you need a loose powder to do that. And this is my only loose powder, the Bare Minerals uh, Mineral Veil. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to try that. Let's see, I think I want to use this powder palette as well from um, Pro Cosmetics. I want to include this one, the Na Urban Decay Naked Basics one. I haven't used this one in such a long time. So I think I'm going to throw this one in there. Also, this foundation I'm going to include, but I am on the hunt for another foundation to try out. This is the Inglot AMC Cream Foundation in LW200, which is my favorite, as you all know by now. As for blush, I still have the blush that I just want to finish, but I think that won't take me too long to finish. I'm going to try this one. I have barely used it, so I think it's a good thing. It is the Physician's Formula Happy Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Rose. So this is the one that I'm going for. All right, moving on to this area. Let's see, lip liners. I want to do this red liner and a more springy colored liner. Let's see, probably the one in rose. Yeah, from NYX. No extra mascaras. Uh, let's see, eyeliners. Mm, I think I'm gonna include this NYX. Um, Slide on pencil in brown perfection, um, and then this one in jet black. Oh, also, the rodeo smoky eye pen in black, the makeup store vanilla matte. And lastly, the Rimmel Kajal Eyeliner Pencil in Pure White. I'm going to add this Brow Wax from Sumita Beauty. Um, what else? Maybe this um, palette for the brows from Pro Cosmetics. Yeah. I am preparing to do a bridal makeup pinup style so I am um, I'm kind of picking out products for that as well so on to concealers I think I want to start using these concealers again um, these are my favorite ones so I'm just going to put them in the palette from Inglot in P and LW100 so a correcting concealer and a regular concealer I'm also going to include this um, cream eye enhancing gel liner for brown eyes has a brown a black and a purple gosh all of these are so pretty I think I want to use this elf lip definer and shaper this is a an elf lip lock pencil that I'm going to use then I'm going to try out this um I can't even remember what this is called is it peach or something elf matte lip color is the product all right, I have the lip balms that I'm using already. I'm just going to continue to use them. Uh, but I'm going to include this Baby Lips um, 
in Pink Punch. It has this baby pink kind of color. And then also this um, Makeup Diamond Heart Base Primer illuminating kind for the face. I'm going to include this um, Becca highlighter in Moonstone. I want to do one of these darker. I'm going to include all of these three. Um, the products, they're all like in reddish tones. The Bella Pierre in Cherry Pop. They smell so good. The Dior in Fantastic Plum, which is a slightly darker color. Excuse my nails, by the way. Um, and then the e.l.f. Um, Cheerful Cherry. I am also going to include this one, which is from Maybelline in Fruit Punch. I want to do this classy lipstick by e.l.f. A nude color, the e.l.f. Nicely Nude. I want to go for that one. It's like slightly pink, but that's pretty. I want to try out this Meat Makeup Lip and Cheek Tint. I don't know what the color name is, but it's kind of like a red tint. Maybe this one from NYX in Mauve. I want to do like a peachy corally gloss. I think I'm going to pick this one, the e.l.f. Glossy Gloss in Wild Watermelon. Let's do this one maybe. Yeah, I want to do the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. I'm probably pulling out a too much products now, but I'm getting excited here. Let's see, should I pick both of them or just one of them? I'll pick, I'll pick just one of them for now. I'll do this one maybe next month. Um, this is the Isadora Twist Up Glossy Stick in, I think it's Baby Pink. So, yeah, I think that's it.